Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about uh, how to detect that you are not inadvertently changing state in Redux. And there is actually a good package that I found recently that is uh, very useful. And uh, the name of the package is Redux Immutable State Invariant. And you should just install it uh, in development mode. And you can find out some instructions on how to use this in development mode over here. So let me quickly demonstrate how this works uh, in, in, in an example. And uh, the way I'm going to do this is uh, I will go to a reduce get. I have a reducer uh, where I would uh, actually uh, run it and demonstrate to you. But let me show you what I've done so far. So I have this app or my website. And uh, basically uh, what I've done is uh, if the environment is uh, development, which is the case here I'm checking, I'm going to require that immutable state invariant uh, package is included. And it is being essentially being sent to apply middleware only under development. And uh, I do use other packages like create the bonds and thunk, which are uh, available in both cases. You, you can see in development, it's just this. So once you have installed this package and added it to your middleware like this or just like this, you should be all good to go. So uh, I'm running this and it uh, seems to work fine. As you can see, everything is working fine. I can scroll and uh, go to something else and everything is good. So let's say I for some uh, I made a mistake and I started to uh, mutate state and to weigh mutate state in my reducer you can see I'm getting an initial state and an action and right now I'm creating a new state object but let's say I didn't want to create a new state object and I just uh, mutate an existing state object if I just did this uh, by mistake uh, you can see this uh, package will give me uh, and tell me that you are having a state mutation was being detected inside a dispatch and you can uh, kind of fix it. So this is actually a great package and now I'm going to undo this change so that way uh, it's not causing a problem here. And uh, you can see now it works back in again. So this is an actually a pretty uh, good package and I would highly recommend it uh, that you use it uh, with Redux and React in a development environment. Thanks for uh, watching this short uh, screencast.